Hello everyone, this is Mad Dog. I hope you're all doing very well. Today is a follow-up to my pop-up attack video. We're going to be talking about one of the biggest threats in DCS, man pads. No! God, please, no! No! When the uh, Mirage 2000 pilot plans a mission, one of the considerations is the positioning of the sun. As you know, when we are doing air combat, the sun can affect the uh, tracking of our, of our IR missiles, like the A-9. And uh, I wanted to know if uh, we could also hide or use the sun to defeat man pads or other uh, IR threats on the ground. So we'll take a look at that today. So we're going to start with uh, a list of advantages and disadvantages of each technique. Let's start with uh, the sun behind us attack. First positive sign is uh, the element of surprise. Of course, we're coming in from the sun. In real life, uh, you'd be blinded by the sun, so uh, you would have a hard time knowing which way the attack is coming from. Uh, uh, so that makes us really hard to see and acquire. Uh, because our power will be at idle. We're in the descent phase towards uh, our uh, targets. So power at idle, we are minimizing our, our IR signature and blending with uh, the sun. Uh, the negative point of attacking with the sun behind us is that we're gonna be very vulnerable on exit. Uh, we're gonna be uh, pulling away, using max power against the cold sky. Uh, we are putting ourselves in a vulnerable position, being a very juicy target for uh, the man pads. But let's not forget that if the attack was successful, the man pads should not be a problem anymore. Now, if we take a look at attacking with uh, the sun in our face, this is where DCS in real life are a little bit different. In real life, if you do a pop-up style attack, you will be surprising the enemy. The enemy will not know which way you're coming from. But in DCS, I found that the man pads are a little too good and they will detect you uh, if you are coming in from any other place other than the sun. So for the specifics of attacking with uh, the sun in our face, uh, the only positive I could find was a safe, safer exit as we blend our IR signature with the sun. Even if we go with full power, uh, the uh, IR missiles tracking will be disturbed from the uh, heat signature of the sun. Uh, on the negative side, uh, we will need to use countermeasures in anticipation of a missile shot, so giving away our position. Uh, visually, if the enemy had not seen us yet, well, now we uh, just made a big uh, firework display in the sky, really easy to spot. Uh, the sun will be blinding us as well. We'll be facing the sun, so it might be hard to see the target area. And uh, as we'll need to concentrate on uh, launching flares uh, and maneuver probably to escape a missile shot, uh, that is going to screw our attack, uh, especially if we do a CCIP run and we need to uh, put the bomb precisely on a uh, specific point, well, if, if we have to maneuver, we just screwed up our attack. I did a lot of testing with the F-16 and the F-18, and we are starting this off with uh, the sun in our back for the first four passes. As you can see, the uh, man pads was not even able to look at us as we were coming in. He detected us a little late. We already overflew the uh, target area. And uh, he's not shooting at me because I was able to hide in the terrain. Otherwise, he would have shot at me. That's for sure.
This last pass is very interesting. As you will see, the man pad is already looking at me. That's because I wasn't coming in directly from the sun. But as I reposition into the sun, you'll see the man pad will be lowering his weapon and he will be patiently waiting for the attack to occur. Let's start over, this time facing the sun. Diving in from the for the attack, you'll see the man pad has already shot a missile at me. It didn't take too long for uh, for him to detect me and shoot me out of the sky. So the solution for this type of attack is to drop a ton of flares in anticipation of a missile shot. But as you can see, doing this, uh, we are giving away our position and we have to maneuver to escape the uh, missile. And if we were to, if we were doing a CCIP attack run, uh, this would not be successful. On the uh, egress, however, the uh, man pad was able to uh, launch a missile, but it is tracking the sun. It is not tracking the airplane. Here we can see the man pad trying to get a lock on us, but he quickly realizes this is not a good idea and he puts his weapon down. Again, a, a missile launch on egress but the missile is tracking the sun and not the airplane. So each technique has its advantages and disadvantages. Please let me know which one you prefer in the comment section. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See ya.